I'm Zoe from Girl Scout Troop 1936, and you're watching The Cookie Channel. Welcome to the Cookie Channel in partnership with Literacy Connections. I'm Zoe from Girl Scout Troop 1936. And I'm Molly from Girl Scout Troop 1936. Each day this week, we will be sharing a new digital literacy topic leading to National Digital Literacy Day on February 27th. But what is digital literacy? Digital literacy means having the right digital skills to achieve your goals in a world that's always changing. Today, we're talking about social media. Social media is defined as a computer-based technology that facilitates the sharing of ideas, information, and thoughts through the creation of virtual networks and communities. By design, social media is internet-based and gives users quick electronic communication of content. There are four main popular platforms, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. These are global networks with millions of users each. Yeah, Twitter reports more than 330 million active users, while Snapchat reports 203 million. But Instagram reports 1 billion users, and Facebook reports 2.45 billion active users worldwide. But who are these active users? How old are they? Well, Twitter was designed to be used by 18 to 29 year olds interested in receiving news and following high profile celebrities, while Snapchat is supposed to be for 13 year olds or older. Instagram is also for 13 year olds or older, and Facebook is designed for adults. So that's how social media is being used in the world, but let's see how folks at the Peggy Seeger Senior Center here in Goldsboro, North Carolina are using it. Hi, we're from Girl Scout Troop 1936 and we're here today to talk about social media. So do you use any social media? Well, I use Facebook and Instagram, but I do not use Snapchat and Twitter and I don't know, what are some of the others? I, I only use those two, the Facebook and, um, and Instagram. Is there a so what's your favorite platform? Well, I really enjoy Instagram because it's, I just see from people, I just see posts from people who I choose to see. With Facebook, you get so much um, information that you don't really care about, you know, that might just be coming to you because you looked at something else that was related to that. Um, my family uses Instagram, and that's how I find some really cute pictures and news from them and they set up an Instagram account on my um, phone and my iPod for me and um, Facebook is something that I got into when it first started and that's really all I have an interest in or time for uh, using. So, Why do you use it? Well I like to um, use it to keep up with with news um, in the community, things that are going on with people in my age group, um, breaking news um, about uh, events, and um, you find out about things that happened before it's out in the newspaper or out, you know, just in the general um, public. Uh, it's nice to get news about people that are, um, that may be sick, churches post things, um, but it's, it's a good way to find some interesting information. It seems like there are a lot of recipes on it these days for people my age, so. <laughs> so are you concerned at all about your privacy at all? Yes, I am. Um, it does bother me when I have done a, 
when I've been shopping, for instance, uh, or looking for something that I might be interested in, and then later on another device that I use, I may see ads for that particular item float past, and I just am amazed, wondering how on earth they even found out about that. So it is certainly something that I worry about. On the um, nightly news last night, which I'm sure none of you all look at, but they were talking about a facial recognition software that they, um, you know, can get images from your um, pictures you post online and use it for identification purposes. Crazy. It is very, you know, it's very scary. But, um, and the other thing that I think so many people don't realize is that the information that you put there is going to be there for a long time. So you have to really think about what you're putting <laughs> out there for everyone to see. So how often do you tend to use social media? Well, I try not to use it all day long. And I will have to say that a lot of people I know are not like that. I try to just do it in the evenings. After I've you know, had dinner, I might sit there while I'm watching TV and just scroll through. Sometimes in the morning, um, I, if I see something that's come up as a breaking news, I might check on it. But I try not to look at it all day. It's a real, it can really suck you in. <laughs> How do you access social media? Well, I have a smartphone and an iPod and an iPad. So um, probably more on my phone because that's always with me, it seems. Do you find it annoying when people or family around you are constantly on social media? Yes, it is my pet peeve. It is my number one thing that is um, so annoying to me when you are in a group or when you are f with family or you're trying to sit down and have a meal and people cannot leave their phone alone or they are constantly trying to show you something on your phone and um, you, f you feel like people are not having a face-to-face -face conversation with you anymore. So it is very annoying when people are constantly checking on their phone or referring to something that's on the phone and then going to the phone to check on it so they can show it to you. So, Do you try and put limits on your family members around you? Um, my children are grown adults and don't live here and neither do my grandchildren, but when I am with them, I may have to say something like, let's put our phones away and talk to each other since we're having dinner. <laughs> so yes, there, um, there, there, are, there are a lot of scrolling through the phone all the time. Well, thank you for talking with us today, Mrs. Parker. Thank you for asking and good luck with your project. Would you like to say our slogan with us? Sure. Peace, Peace out, out, Girl Scouts. Scouts. Hi, we're from Girl Scout Troop 1936 and we're here to talk to you about social media. Do you use social media? No, I don't. I've made that choice not to. So, why don't you use social media? Well, there are a number of reasons why I don't. I know everybody does and sometimes I feel like I'm excluded because I don't. Um, I think it's a wonderful way to connect with people, but I think it has some parts of it that worry me a little bit and one of them is privacy. I know I use the internet a lot and I know I'm out there on the internet and I know you can access information about me already but I don't want to make it that much easier for people to find me. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a concern. One of the other concerns I have is the fact that when you're using social media and not talking to people I think you can forget how to talk and how to converse. And when I'm having communication with somebody, I want to see them and hear them and understand, try to understand what they're feeling and thinking. And I can't do that uh, with social media. Have you had any experience that have left like a bad taste in your mouth? I, well, I haven't ever used it. I, I know people who have, so I can't say that I have, but I'm trying to avoid that. One thing that does concern me about Facebook in particular is that Sometimes I like to try new restaurants or businesses, and increasingly, they don't have a website. They just go to my Facebook. Well, I'm not on Facebook, so I'm not going to eat at your restaurant or buy your clothes because I can't access it. So was there any reason you didn't want to try? 
or like any experiences you'd heard about? I, I not any particular experiences, but I think the news ha has a lot of discussion about security leaks and issues with people's identity being taken and stolen. So I don't have a particular personal story, but I've heard a lot of stories that do concern me. Are you interested in ever learning more about it? Well, I'm always interested in learning about things, um, and certainly I'd, some things, I understand they're not really social media platforms, but apps. I have grandchildren whom I adore who don't, all of them don't live close, and an app like Skype or, or FaceTime, something like that, I would be interested in finding out more about, but I don't have a smartphone, so it limits me there. Do you find it annoying when people around you are on social media? I, I wouldn't say annoying. I, I think I find it sad. I've seen people in restaurants. The other day we were at a restaurant and there were two people sitting there and I looked over and they were looking down at their phones. And I don't think, at least in the time I was there, they said one word to each other and they're having a meal together. And I think that's very sad. I think we're losing something in society when we don't have that face-to-face -face opportunity to relate. So you said you don't have a phone. Do you have any, <laughs> do you use like a computer or an iPad maybe? I have a flip phone. Oh. <laughs> and I can, t texting is another thing I don't do. So you're gonna think I'm a real dinosaur. But the, um, I, as, in terms of texting, I think, well, why not just pick up the telephone and talk? I like to hear my children's voices and it's nice much nicer than seeing an hi mom and, and reading it. I use a laptop, uh, not a laptop, a desktop often and I'm on the internet several times a day. I like news, I, just, I like information. I think it's a wonderful resource to do that. However, you, the other thing that worries me about social media particularly is that there is not always a test of the truth of what's out there. And that really concerns me. My profession was a librarian and we really care about how accurate and how honest and how true a source is. And that doesn't happen that on the inter on the social media platforms and that that's a huge concern. If you don't use social media, then how do you get news about what's going on? It's not easy. And I sometimes feel like I'm going to be compelled to use social media, even though I don't want to. Um, the world is increasingly technological, and it, it's difficult. I do read newspapers, and so I can find out nationally and internationally what's happening. There are local information sources. Um, I think people know that I don't use social media, so I still like email, and I can find out by, if I know something's going on, I can email somebody and say, hey, what's going on? Because I know they're on social media and can tell me. Um, recently, we had a group of librarians meet, and they had been meeting online through, I think, Facebook, and I knew nothing about it. They were all retired librarians like I am and they were having these meetings and I knew nothing about it. Well, once they found out that I was there and interested, we discovered there are other librarians who also don't use social media. So now we do social media, they do Facebook, but then they remember that those of us who don't participate would like an email to find out about it. So do you feel pressure from your family to use it? <laughs> uh, well, my sister uses it. So I can, she'll often say, oh, do you want to see this on Facebook and look at this? And um, pressure, I would say no. My children know that I just probably am not going to do it. I'm, I'm old fashioned. I'd rather read a book than have an e-book. I'd rather have a flip phone than a smartphone. So you, you'd be asking a lot for me to um, switch. So do you put any limits on the usage of social media for a family that visit? No, they, they know not to put their, they, they understand that this is a time uh, to get together and to talk and there's never a question. I have teenage grandchildren and they put their devices down too. They might leave them on the table just in case, but they don't look at them. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today, Ms. Roston. You're welcome. Would you like to say our slogan with us? I'd love to. It's peace out, Girl Scout. One, two, three. 
Peace out, Girl Scouts. Are you sure you're okay, Mom? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired and my back kind of hurts. Well, we're leaving then. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Lena, this is such a great picture of you. Should I post it on my Snapchat story or should I send it as streaks? Mm mm. Definitely sign up with the TBH. Or you can put it on YOLO. Oh, yeah. You never know what people are going to say about you on those things. What do you think people would say about you, Lena? Yeah, Lena. I don't know. Probably mean things. Yeah. Did you hear about that one thing Jessica said about Mallory? It was so bad. I can't believe she would say that about her. That was so mean. I know it really hurt her feelings. Yeah, she was in the bathroom crying the next day. Oh my goodness. your snap score? Mine's 107. Mine's only 19,000. Maybe you should send a streak. Okay, I'll send it as a streak. Oh, but mine's 32,000. I'm actually really proud of it. 32,000? How did you get it that high? I have a lot of streaks with people. Maybe we should make a TikTok. But which one will we make? Renegade. Yeah. Yes, we all need to do Renegade. Okay. Motion detection front door. Oh my gosh, there's someone at the front door. <gasps> He's wearing a black ski mask. What are we gonna do? 